Monica Swink, a member of Mosaic and has been our treasurer for almost five years now. And that's such an important job in the church. Um, and when this started, a lot of pastors were obviously worried about finances of the church. Monica, um, how are things going with Mosaic in terms of our offerings? Well, I'm really pleased at how faithful our Mosaic community has been. Um, they've found new ways to give uh, beyond the offering plate on Sunday mornings. They're sending their, their checks to the office at 3131 Northwest 50th in Oklahoma City, or they're going online and actually giving online through Mosaic OKC. I've talked with some who have a little bit of difficulty with the online giving, but I've been able to walk them through. So I'm really pleased at the way our giving is coming in. And how safe is online giving? Do you have just any sense of that? I mean, I, I give online. and I, I, the, the group that we use is one that's used by churches across the country. I'm really pleased with their security, with their kinds of reports that they give us. And I've just been very confident that their giving online is very safe. All right. So, you know, a lot of pastors at the time of the offering like to stress that the offering during worship is not just about giving money. Um, obviously, we need money to pay the light bills, to pay insurance, and then obviously when you have staff, you want to pay your staff on time, and then we have ministries. We want to you know, buy curriculum and supplies for the children and youth and um, you know, cleaning supplies, and we have kitchen supplies. We have all that kind of stuff, office supplies and hymnals. and you know, so. But the offering during worship is more than just um, giving money. It's about... Um, the offering of our lives to God and God takes that and uses it um, to work God's will in the world. And that is not just our pocketbook, but it's our hands, it's our feet, it's our words, it's our, it's our actions. And so we understand completely that a lot of people have taken a hit financially right now. Uh, we have members of our church who are furloughed, who've, who have been laid off, who are, have applied for unemployment. Some of them have jobs, but they also have extra gigs on the side. And those gigs have, um, dried up for the time being um, because obviously we're not traveling we're not conferences have been postponed or canceled and so we understand people in the church may not be able to give at the same level they were giving you know, say last february but there's obviously ways we can give to the church and our prayers is one of those ways we have people in the church making masks and donating them um, many people have stepped up to the plate and have been offering you know, prayer times online Many ministries behind the scenes sort of continue, um, such as Ice Angels and Meals on Wheels, and we're giving out food on Wednesdays from the church. Um, uh, people are, you know, still making mats for the homeless or, you know, making um, blankets out of jeans, that kind of stuff. And so our offering to God is not simply what we put in the offering plate, but what we put in the offering plate is obviously very important. Um, Monica, thank you so much for the work you do. I know it's not some of us who aren't number crunchers, you know, we don't, can't fathom what you do and why you enjoy it, but we know that you are good <laughs> at it. So we thank you for that because it's such an important job in the church and you're so faithful to do it. So thank you for that. And if anybody has any questions, they can contact you, right? Is that right? Yes, for sure. Okay. All right. Be so great. People can continue to mail their offerings in and we have provided all of our members envelopes that are pre-addressed and we've even given out stamps. You can also go online to our website and give, and we feel that's very safe to do so. So thank you so much for how you can give to God and give to the church and further God's work in the world this week. Thanks, Monica. Mm -hmm.